Come on in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stomp your feet to the beat. Jump up and down. Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen. Clap your hands if you're ready to go on a wilderness adventure. I am. We're in a series called Into the Wilderness. In the Bible, God's people learned a lot about God when they were wandering in the wilderness. During our time together, we'll learn more about God as we complete challenges and follow a wilderness map. Let's start by taking a look at our map for today. First, we'll head to the cactus, then we'll travel to the sheep, and finally we'll head over to the mystery spot. Let's get started by practicing our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is God forgives me. Kiddos, God loves you and will forgive you for any wrong thing you do. Now let's stand up and practice the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. God forgives me. Great job. Turn around. And now let's say the big idea all together in our howling wolf voices. Ready? Ho, ho, ho. The big idea. Ho, ho. God forgives me. Ho, ho, ho. Great job. Turn around. And this time, let's say the big idea like we're a wiggly worm. Ready? The big idea. God forgives me. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Awesome. Turn around. And now let's say it again like we're a floating astronaut. Ready? The big idea. God forgives me. Great job, kiddos. Now we get to try our first wilderness challenge. Let's see what it says. To get to the cactus, you need to ride a horse and gallop to it. Hmm, kiddos, let's stand up. Pretend to get on our horses. All right, now let's gallop. Here we go. Keep going all the way to the cactus. Oh, great job. Sit down and let's see if we made it to the cactus. We did it. Well, now it's time to learn more by going on a Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, way, oh, oh, way, oh. Here we go. <laughs> the Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God. There are also true stories in the Bible that show us what God is like. Today, we get to read about a time when God forgave his people. Moses and God's people had been in the wilderness for a long time, but now they had finally arrived at the land God had promised them. God told Moses, send some people to check out the land and see what it's like. So Moses gathered 12 people. Moses said, 
We need to know what this new land is like. Is it good or bad? Are the people strong or weak? Are there trees or no trees? See what things are like and bring back some of the fruit you find. The 12 men went out and explored the new land for 40 days. When they came back to Moses, they gave him this report. The land was so good, better than anything we've seen before. There is a problem though. The people who live there are big and scary. We seem like small grasshoppers compared to them. Then two of the men named Joshua and Caleb spoke up. The land we saw is very good, just like God promised. We don't have to be afraid. God is with us and he will bring us safely into the land. Joshua and Caleb believed God's promise, but the rest of God's people were too afraid. They disobeyed God and didn't go into the new land. God's people ended up wandering in the wilderness for 40 more years. That's a long time. Even though the people disobeyed God, he didn't forget about them. God forgave them and helped them. And one day he led them back to the promised land. Great listening, kiddos. God forgave his people after they disobeyed him. God forgives each one of us too. Well, now it's time for our second wilderness challenge. Let's read it. To get to the sheep, hop across the rocky path on one foot. Okay, kiddos, let's stand up. Can you hop on one foot? Ready? Here we go. Hop, hop. Let's get across the path. Whoa, we're almost there. Great job. Sit down and let's see if we made it to the sheep. We did it. Only one more stop to go. Well, now it's time to practice our memory verse. Memory verse, memory verse. You can remember the memory verse. Say, hey, hey. Hi, kiddos. It's time to stand up and sing our memory verse song together. This verse comes from the Bible. It reminds us that God is forgiving, good, and full of love for us. Let's sing the verse together. Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Lord, you are forgiving and good. Psalm 86, verse 5. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. Now let's sing the verse again in our super quiet whisper voices. Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Lord, you are forgiving and good. Psalm 86, verse 5. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. Now let's sing the verse again in our super loud voices. Ready? Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Lord, you are forgiving and good. Psalm 86, verse 5. Great job practicing the memory verse. Stay standing because now we're going to sing a song together. This song is all about the Bible. The B-I-B-L-E The B-I-B-L-E The B-I-B-L-E The B-I-B-L-E The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's a book for me I stand alone on the Word of God The B-I-B-L-E The B-I-B-L-E
Awesome singing! You can sit down. Now we get to try our final wilderness challenge. Are you ready? It says, to get to the mystery spot, get in a boat and row across a lake. Okay, kiddos, let's pretend to get into a boat. Whoop, there we go. And now let's row across the lake like this. Keep going. We're almost there. Way to go, we did it. Now let's find out if we made it to the mystery spot. We did. Let's see where the mystery spot is by trying out what we've been learning today. Try it out. Try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right. We've completed all of our wilderness challenges today, and now we've made it to our final spot, a beach. I've been working on a sandcastle today, and I think it's looking pretty good. I was just about to put the finishing touches on it right now. kiddos. Give me a thumbs up if you like the sandcastle. I do too. I really like how it turned out. Today we've been learning about God's forgiveness. In our Bible adventure story, we heard about a time when God forgave his people after they disobeyed him. God's people had walked a long way and finally made it to the land God had promised them. That should have been amazing. But do you remember what happened, kiddos? Did God's people go into the good land that God told them to, or were they too afraid? Yeah, God's people were afraid. They didn't go into the land like God told them to, but God didn't stay mad at them. He forgave them. Kiddos, have you ever done something that God says is wrong? I know I have. Maybe it's saying something mean or lying or hurting someone else. All of us do wrong things sometimes, and all of us need God's forgiveness. I'm so grateful that God forgives us when we ask him to. Well, I think I'm gonna head back to my sandcastle now. <gasps> oh no, kiddos, look what happened. My sandcastle's ruined. Oh, I'm so mad. How did this happen? Oh, this took me so long to finish. What should I do, kiddos? I mean, I could be mad at them and just stay mad and never build a sandcastle again. Or maybe I should find the person who did this and I could yell at them and tell them about how mad I am. Or maybe I have another choice. Hmm. I think this is giving me a good chance to practice what we learned today. God has forgiven me so much, and he wants me to forgive others, even the person who wrecked my sandcastle. Kiddos, I think I'm gonna choose to not stay angry about this and to forgive the way that God forgives me. I'm gonna get back to rebuilding this sandcastle now, but I'll see you next time on another wilderness adventure. I love knowing that God forgives us. God knows we're not perfect, and he'll always forgive us when we ask him to. Well, now let's celebrate all we learned by standing up and going Kidawampus together. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing it's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing Kid. Oh Wampus, kid, oh Wampus, what kid, oh Wampus, let's jump around the kid of Wampus. It's time for Pretzel Kiddos. 
When you see body parts on the screen, try to touch those parts together. Ready? Here we go! Hand and toes. Ear and knee. Hand and shoulder. Shoulder and ear. Hand and tail? Elbow and toes. Elbow plus nose. Nose and knee. Hand plus knee. Hand and hand. Put your hands together. Excellent. Way to go. That was a super fun kid of You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God. We can pray anytime and anywhere because God is always with us. Right now, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. If you want, you can repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us. Amen. Well, I've had so much fun with you today, kiddos. Remember that God loves you and will always forgive you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.